really see some of the things I've done. What is up guys? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the vlog. We're kicking it off with one of my favorite things, flywheel. I haven't been in a hot minute. I don't think I went last week. Just ready to get my sweat on, my cardio on. And then after that, I think I might walk down to the Tidal Basin where I went and had the shoot with Ashley because the cherry blossoms are supposed to be blooming now. So I kind of just want to like see them and like experience it just like walking by myself I'm gonna hop over to the mall where I went shopping last week and exchange the belt that I got that was too big I might be making a couple exciting purchases But we will see no confirmations yet You guys my glutes are sore from yesterday's workout because I haven't done hip thrusts in a while and I really like, I didn't even talk about this in the vlog. Uh, I just inserted like an awkward like short clip of me doing hip thrust. But my new gym has a barbell pad and like a much, not new gym, but like I just started going to this location of my gym. I go to like a chain gym that's like all over the country. It's not that special. This new one I've started going to sometimes has a much better setup for hip thrust where it's just like the barbell things are so much more accessible and the bench setup, I just like it better. And they have a barbell pad and maybe my other gyms do. I just haven't. Found it. Yeah, I'm doing cycling, so just like all over cardio for my workout today. I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, so much sweat. <laughs> also, there's a core power right there. Like, what more could you want? It's so bright. I look dead. But I went with my favorite instructor, and I was sitting on the bike, like adjusting it before class started. And he points me. He goes, "Jim Shark." He knows what's up. And now we're gonna head to the tidal basin. Guys, look! It's so pretty, all of these blossoms. There it is. Look at that beautiful frame. It is packed with tourists. I figured because it's Thursday, I figured it wouldn't get too crazy until tomorrow because it's Thursday and the weekend hasn't started yet, but it's still really crowded. So I'm gonna walk down to the water. It's probably gonna be insane also, but just thought I'd show you. They're so pretty. Like, look. She's beauty and she's grace. I found this like calm, relatively empty spot just with all of the trees and the Jefferson Memorial. I look ridiculous, but I don't care because I love this. The scratch on my camera lens is really gonna bother me when I look at this later, but it's too beautiful to care. Sitting, I came to the mall to run my errands and I exchanged my belt with Forever 21. They didn't have the exact same one. All of the belts in the one belt that I had, all of them were like size 2X, 3X even. I found a small belt that was like, I thought it was the same one, but when I got up to the register, it wasn't. It was a little different, but the buckle's a little smaller, which I think would be good. So I exchanged it for that. A couple more errands I'm gonna run here. I realized there's a NYX store here, so I think I wanna go and get my like, uh, eyebrow powder I use in my bronzer. I also want to find Foot Locker because I think I'm going to try on some Adidas NMDs. I kind of want to get some and treat myself and I might go to Best Buy, so yay. Okay, so I'm going to try these ones, the Ultra Boost in a size 6 because apparently they run big. I want all white, I think. They don't have all white of NMDs, which... She said Ultra Boosts are like better for workout, like exercising anyway. But I definitely just want to try them on for size in person. And then maybe if I like a different color online, I'll get them. Or if I like love these, then I'll maybe get them. But we shall see. I did not end up purchasing the NMDs. So I did want to show you just like the few random things I got at the mall, even though I didn't get my big purchases. And oh, I didn't get the shoes because I tried them on and I had to go to a few different stores because they didn't have the sizes and they're the sizing of nmds is like weird i've heard normally like a size seven and in the nmd i was a six and a six and a half in the ultra boost which like is just so funny because it's like adidas aren't you a shoe company like how do you not know how sizing works a different one that i initially showed you it's a little smaller so i'm going to try it with the dress and make sure it looks good extra small slash small so it's 84 centimeters whereas the one i had before was 2x and that was 99 centimeters so this will be good. And this one was a little cheaper, so I had a couple dollars credit. I just got a pack of white ankle socks because I'm always out of clean socks. And I went to the NYX store, actually. I don't think I vlogged that. And I just got um, two refills of very basic boring things that I just wanted to make sure I had full things of before Coachella. I got the eyebrow powder I use. It's an eyeshadow, but I use it for my eyebrows. It's in 
40 the chaser and then i just got the matte bronzer in medium so and then i went to nordstrom rack to look at their shoes because sometimes they have really good deals on shoes i didn't end up with shoes but i got this cute I, this could be tacky but i thought it was cute it's like a skinny black and gold belt and it has gold like this little kind of like leaf looking strip of gold down the middle it was like at a good discount at nordstrom rack and I thought this could be potentially cute with my day two cocktail outfit. So I'm going to try that. I got a mini size of the It's a 10 because they have good prices on these. It was 10 bucks. Actually, I don't know how much the mini size is in, in like normal stores. It might just be the same, but I needed one anyway. And I like the mini size because it's easier to travel with. It's the like stretchy headband hair tie things um, that don't leave a crease in your hair. This was a complete impulse purchase. They have so many good freaking things like at the checkout line at Nordstrom Rack. Um, I got a mini donut humidifier. <laughs> Might be the randomest thing I've ever hauled in my life. If you guys know, I like struggle with my skin, eczema, and dry skin. And I've heard that humidifiers are actually really, really good, especially like to plug in while you're sleeping. So I don't even know if this one's even gonna make a difference because it's literally like a USB plug-in, but I figured it's a good start and it was cheap enough. A box from Jouet, which is so exciting. Hi gorgeous, we're so excited for you to experience 50 shades of Jouet. Oh wait, I saw a promo for this. They're coming out with 50 shades of their foundation. They're definitely learning something after the little tart mishap. Beautiful black and gold ombre box. Can I get a theta? A sample of every single color of foundation. That is insane. So this is so cool. Such a smart idea and just like a good way to spread the word about all the shades. Thank you, Jue. I very much appreciate this. I am going to jump in the shower and have some dinner. What's up, you guys? Happy Friday. I love Fridays. Exciting things are happening, so it's just gonna be good. I was inspired by Remy, even though um, my hair is like very thin and doesn't make much of a braid at all, but whatever. I'm also not very good at braiding, so I'm just gonna like pretend um, that it looks good. I can't really tell because I can't see the back of my head. So for all I know, it's great <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work and research and I've been on the phone a lot It's just been like working on my laptop. So nothing exciting to vlog. I had breakfast lunch um, It's early afternoon now. I just haven't started vlogging yet I just want to preface this and I know this is a very like personal thing and everyone like spends money differently and I don't really like to like flaunt material things in my videos. I don't really buy like nice things for myself often. Yesterday, like I said, like I'm kind of looking into getting shoes and I don't know why all at once I suddenly like want to upgrade all these things in my life and I'm never in the mood to do that. I'm never like in the mood to like make big purchases ever. For some people, these aren't big purchases. Some people buy like $3,000 bags on a whim, but that's not me at all. I'm very particular about how I spend my money, especially when it comes to things. I usually value experiences over things, but sometimes I need to invest in things for, you know, my life, my work. I do want to get a new camera, um, so I'm going to do that in the near future. Today I'm getting an Apple Watch, and I've been looking at this and researching it and going back and forth for so long, and finally I was just like, you know what, like, I'm just gonna do it. I really just want to get to a place where I'm able to, like, track my workouts, my active time, my, like, how many calories I'm burning roughly, my heart rate, and I want to be a lot more like intentional with my workouts so i thought that having the apple watch would be really helpful for me that way i ordered it and i'm going to pick it up at the apple store right now and then i'm going to go to the gym i don't know if i can like set it up before that or if i have to come home or do anything but i might try and like use it for a workout today guys look at this steam coming off my donut humidifier it's actually like working well i'm surprised i don't know if you can see on camera just how much but you can like see the humidity it's producing here we are at the Apple store. We so excited. I got the thing on my phone. So she was... Got it, I was so quick and easy. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna grab a coffee and sit down and try and set it up before I go to the gym. There's not really a good place to sit, but I got the Series 3 GPS without cellular. I got some coffee. I'm literally sitting on the lunch table because I was too excited to go home. So, I'm gonna use my keto test. Are you ready for this? Oh, designed by Apple in California. I got the smaller one because I have tiny hands. Oh my god, it's so sleek. I got it in gray. 
off. I love taking the plastic off of new things like this. It's so satisfying. This is a struggle already. It's kind of difficult by yourself. Ah. Also, I'm incompetent, so that makes it difficult. It's on. I'm wearing it. I'm an Apple Watch bitch now. Why is there another one of these? It's just going to take some getting used to, for sure. The learning curve, as the kids call it. Also, I don't want this to seem like I'm bragging about getting an Apple Watch. I'm really not. Um, I am kind of sharing it with you guys because I want to share with you my experience of like getting used to it and how it works with workouts and if it's worth it. So I figured um, if other people are like interested in looking into it, I might as well like share this process with you. So I'm sorry if you feel as though I'm bragging like, uh, look at my Apple Watch. Because it might take a few minutes to verify it, my Apple ID. So I will update you guys when I'm like doing something exciting or like figuring out other settings. I got my watch all set up and I'm ready to try it at the gym. Just did my first workout with my Apple Watch. That's what the activity thing looks like. And this is the summary on my phone. So it like shows you, I'm sure like this is common knowledge. I just think it's so exciting. So you can see my heart rate is so interesting. You can see it like climbing with my cardio at the beginning. I did my Stairmaster warm up and then lifting. You can see like <laughs> my rest. And then I wanted to hit 500 total calories. And so I walked on an incline of the treadmill for like less than 10 minutes just to hit it. <laughs> Makes you want to hit these numbers. And the weather was 70 degrees, that's really nice. There's what my bands look like right now. Obviously it's not counting like from before I got the watch. <laughs> so I walked a lot earlier, but I'll just walk and stand on the train and stuff. You can see like the spike in your exercise. Wow, much excite. It's so fun. I've only had this for like four hours, but I love it so far. Unfortunately not sponsored by Apple, but you know, at Steve Jobs. I'm home now and I tracked, actually I turned it on for like a leisurely walk or whatever um, while I was walking home from the metro just to like see what it would track. It tracked like the elevation it took for me to get back because I go uphill. I'm just making up some of the food that I meal prepped. I'm going to have chicken, sweet potato, and veggie bowl, probably with a little buffalo sauce. Having dinner now, and then I'm going to take a shower. But just first impressions, like I'm really impressed with this already. I'm really excited to see what it can do. If you have any suggestions um, of like cool things that the Apple Watch can do or track that I might not be aware of or your favorite things to use it for, Definitely let me know. I was talking to my dad on the phone for a while this morning because he has one. Shout out, dad. Love you. Um, and he literally like barely uses his phone now because he just uses the watch so much. I put it on my fitness Instagram at Christy Better Fit, just on my story. Like, and I got a lot of people messaging me like saying that, you know, getting an Apple Watch was like life changing for them with their workouts and like all this stuff. And people were asking me questions about it already and asking how I liked it. And I figured a lot of you would might be interested if, in hearing my perspective about it just in case you're thinking about getting one so keep you updated over the next few vlogs how i'm liking it before i mix it up and add buffalo sauce so we're just gonna kind of toss it i put a lot of veggies today because you know what they're good for you frank's red hot buffalo sauce and i'm just kind of drizzling a little bit and there's dinner it yeah it looks not good <laughs> But it's so good, I swear. Hello everyone, what is up? Today's Saturday, and I am walking to go um, do some work on my laptop. I have this like renewed sense of motivation just for my freaking Apple Watch. This is so annoying. Sorry, the road's really loud. I just really living a healthy lifestyle and like trying to be fit. You're kind of constantly on a spectrum of either on one end feeling super motivated and like excited, energized about it, and then the other end of the spectrum is just like your daily habits just moving you through obviously natural to like go back and forth between the two it's not one or the other and i've talked about this before in my vlogs and like the importance of building healthy habits and everything which i kind of want to do a whole vlog about even though i'm pretty sure sarah's day literally just did that it's quite chilly today yesterday was warm and now it's not <laughs> i feel like i've kind of been like coasting at the habits end of the spectrum recently now that i like have the apple watch in the sense that like i can actually track and see physical numbers of my workouts and stuff it's like spiked my motivation again and it'd be excited to like go to the gym and work out and challenge myself i'm not saying every time you're like not feeling motivated you should go buy yourself an apple watch like no but you never know when things like switching it up and adding new things is going to make you feel motivated again so i have my stats exam this week it's basically like a problem set in class problem sets take a lot of time normally so we have to be like really really efficient sent us the data set 
to study and like get familiar with. So I'm gonna do that and then do some like research for my group projects. That's all. <laughs> and at Whole Foods for a bit. Now, guys, the last clip, I could see the scratch on my camera so badly, and I'm sure you could too, no one's annoying me. Um, and I've been doing work on my laptop, blah, blah, blah. Not exciting stuff to vlog, and this one's already long enough that I edited it while I was procrastinating. I do want to get a few gym clips, I think, so I'm going to try and film at the gym today. Even though I was going to do lower body, and I realized that literally every single time I film at the gym, it's like a lower body day, so it's repetitive. Um, and I need to film an upper body day, so I'm going to try and do that soon. <laughs> and I'll end the vlog after that. So let's go look at I'm in the gym right now sitting on the leg press machine and there's a few people in here so I'm not going to vlog much of these kids watching me. I'm not going to show you my exercises today because I'm doing like the exact same thing leg day so I'll put on the screen a screenshot of my to-do list. I've been liking making those and like checking them off as I go. So here's my Apple Watch. It's so good. I need to end it but I need both hands so. Spending an hour, 430 active calories. Okay guys, that's gonna end the vlog because I didn't get any workout footage. I will make an effort next time I do arms to film so you guys will actually see it in the vlog. And I always put like clips on my fitness Instagram if you're not following it at Christy Butterfit. Classic plug. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, leave me your advice, comments, ideas with the Apple Watch. See you in my next vlog on Tuesday because I upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You know the drill. Oh.